The Resident Evil 4 health system was always unique in its own way. For example, Leon starts with about a quarter of health on the meter, and as you find yellow herbs and combine them with the other healing and use it, the meter goes up a little bit. You can do the same for Ashley. Now some of the yellow herbs are spotted clear as day, and some of them are hidden, so searching around and taking your time can be really rewarding when you find these. This whole yellow herb feature was completely dropped after this game, with Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 completely ignoring this concept, and it hasn't been done since. Will Capcom bring this back for the remake? It is possible. Resident Evil 3 Remake brought in the dodge mechanic, and that mechanic was from the original Resident Evil 3. Now that I'm thinking about it, they could bring back the defense coins from Resident Evil 3 Remake. That is something that could help if purchased from the merchant. The defense coins were so essential on Inferno mode, so whatever harder mode lurks on this remake, let's get ready for the challenge. I find the yellow herb to be a good feature in the original, and I think it works well with a good balance, because the original Resident Evil 4 does have a good balance, and I really hope the remake has a good balance as well, and it changes up the challenge and it gets harder as you go on. The weapons are constantly changing with the merchant, and the health can be upgraded along with that challenge, and it does reward players when you go out of your way to find the yellow herbs in with the mix. I remember the first time I played it, I didn't even know what the yellow herb did because I didn't read about it in any files, but then when I found out about it, that's when I was like, oh shit, I have to do this. And it definitely helped because I made sure I found every single yellow herb to max out Leon as much as possible for the fight. And it made things a lot easier. And it's definitely something that you have to keep in mind because when you're taking a hit, those extra notches on that meter can make all the difference between life and death. At the end of the day, they can easily just go with the same exact health meter they've been using in the past few years with the remakes and 7 and 8. So that is probably going to be the likely case here because it is easier for people to just jump in and know the health meter from the previous games they recently put out, especially when they're trying to bring in new audience as well. But I always wanted to point out the stuff of Resident Evil 4 that always made it unique, and I think the health system along with the merchant and the weapon cases and the inventory management... All of those things is what added to Resident Evil 4's flavor, and seeing them do something unique with the health system at this point would be really cool, but again, it's not going to make or break the game for me. I just thought it would be pretty cool. So what do you think of the health system in the original Resident Evil 4, and would you like it to return in this one, or do you want them to keep the health system the same as the last few titles? Let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to smash that like button, and subscribe and hit the bell, as the road and coverage to Resident Evil 4 Remake continues. A big shout out to everyone that supports me on Patreon and YouTube memberships. YouTube members grants you access to voting on content with custom badges and emojis for chats. Patreon gives you the same voting privilege, but even more. Gain access to uncut recording sessions, weekly exclusive Patreon shows, and live hangouts on Patreon. Tiers start at just $1. Thank you so much for your support, and I will catch you next time.